Hello, welcome back to another video where I once again have very bad camera quality because my camera's not fixed yet. Yay. So today we're going to be reacting to this video from Bruce... Bruce Stu Films. I knew that. So, let's go. Alright, I was a big fan of airsoft guns when I was a kid. If you don't know what an airsoft gun is, well, it's a plastic gun. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like the vegan teacher reacting to this. But why? Why do you have to get the plastic ones, man? You... Plastic guns like don't even exist anymore because of how bad they were. Just get a polymer or metal one. Come on. Kind of bridges okay. the gap between a Nerf gun and a semi-automatic rifle. You shoot little plastic BBs. And yes. After about a week, your whole house is littered with them. Yes, very much. Toaster. I don't even shoot mine inside because that's a really stupid thing to do. But they're just all over my house for absolutely no reason. Like we just built a pool. I've never used an airsoft gun out there, especially since the pool's been built. And there was some in the pool. I don't even like they just follow us. I don't know. Like you, you can just summon them from anywhere. You can just go. And then they just like appear. Like I don't. Your sister digging them out of her. Just go around. It's a bad word. A I'm take that out. Was... Why? But he's just shooting things in his house. Actually, there is one time that I shot an airsoft gun in my house, and it was like a month ago when I was trying. To... Oh, I'll never do this, but <laughs> I thought that it was empty, and I thought that the battery was out. Uh, both of those things I was wrong about, and I just shot a hole in the drywall in my bedroom. Pretty fun. The first kid on my block to get an airsoft gun. Just carrying it around outside like it's nothing, even though it looks exactly like a real gun. That's why you only bring them out at actual airsoft fields or on your own property. Not to show off to everybody. They're all mesmerized. I can call He's just giving his gun to stupid children on the sidewalk in a public area. That, just don't do that, please. It's such a bad idea. Look at the whole world with this thing. My buddy David literally took it out of my hand. He's like, oh, sweet. This is sweet. Exactly. Don't. Eye protection is a whole nother spiel, but don't even, like, point an airsoft gun at anyone unless you're playing a game and they're wearing proper eye protection. I know I sound like a Karen saying this, but it's happened to so many people and they've gone completely blind because of it that I have to say something. A bit of a trendsetter, I gotta say, because like a week later, every kid on the block had it. Just holding them outside their- I'm not even gonna say it again, they're so, they're so stupid. <laughs> They have a normal airsoft gun like I did. They had a f***ing battery powered. Just, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Just get an AEG. They're better. They're not even that good, especially like a beginner entry level gun. I mean, compared to his, yes, because that's like a toy, and these are like actual airsoft guns. So, I don't even know. I guess he didn't. He probably didn't play airsoft very competitively, even if it was at an actual field. Probably just with his friends. But still, like. Just get a good gun when you're starting out, because then if you don't get a good gun, then they'll break and a bunch of other bad stuff. Fully automatic, get shot in the face 30 times in 4 seconds. That's why you call your hits, so that people don't have to continue shooting you. Hold on a minute, jeez, I'm using this Stone Age piece of crap. It looks like a Happy Meal toy compared to yours. Michael's over there, yep. he doesn't even have an airsoft gun. He's like shooting BBs through a straw like it's a blowgun. <laughs> Wearing his winter coat. <laughs> Everyone wears like a really thick winter coat the first time that they go airsofting, and it's usually in the middle of summer, and they end up dying of heat stroke. It happened to Jackson. Why? His body armor. There'd always be somebody out of ammo trying to call timeout. Wait, wait, wait a minute! Timeout! Wait. There'd always be somebody out of. Why is it clicking? It's an airsoft gun. It's just oh, okay. Why? But. It's an airsoft gun. It still sounds pretty much the same. There's a little bit of a, like, drier sound when you pull the trigger, but it doesn't click when it's out of ammo. The only time it really clicks is when it's completely, like, the battery's completely dead. Ammo, trying to call timeout. Wait, wait, wait a minute, timeout! There ain't no timeout in airsoft! Exactly! <laughs> you get home with a bunch of red welts all over your body, like somebody gave you a smallpox blanket. I yep. eventually upgraded my arsenal, threw my handgun out, and purchased a, uh, big ol' sniper rifle. Make it You've heard me talk about this before, just don't get an airsoft gun- or just don't get a sniper as your first airsoft gun, it's just bad, bad idea. Novrich even made a whole video on it, and he did it, so just- just don't, please. Bigger than my entire body, big ass scope on top of it, like I was gonna assassinate a public official. A uh, $30 sniper from Amazon that everyone got when they were 8 years old. Sure, it didn't shoot fast like the other ones, but uh, that thing had some power. My friend's hiding behind a car and I just shoot through the- are they just playing on their street? Oh my gosh. 
Dude, come on, you're... Uh, I mean, I swear, there's probably gonna be a story later in here where, like, the police come, because that just happens. Our first weekend I got that rifle, shot my cousin in the back. The following weekend, we had a closed casket funeral for him. Now, on exactly. one particular day, we were playing Capture the Flag. And it's important to note at this time, we didn't put the big orange tips on these guns, like... Okay, if you're gonna be playing at an actual airsoft field, taking the orange tip off is very legal and okay, especially if you're just gonna take it off and put a suppressor on the end or something. But just taking it off for no reason to play in a residential area is like the most stupid thing you could do. Like they do nowadays. Let you know it's a fake gun. No, they just dab a bit of orange nail polish on the end of that ball of the day. And that kind of makes it a little hard for your neighbors to determine if you're outside playing or if you're committing an act of domestic terrorism. Yes, it's the company's fault for not putting an orange barrel on it, and not your fault for shooting your friends in a public area. There's... Yeah, hi, 911! There's a child with a deer rifle, and he's running amok in the streets. And, guys, I'm not targeting this guy. He's probably a really cool dude, but, like, as a child, you were kind of stupid, man. I mean, we all were, but still. So I'm sitting there. My base. It's a child with a deer rifle and he's running amok in the street. <laughs> I'm sitting there at my base, which is David's front yard, I'm peeking through my scope like I'm about to put Lyndon B. Johnson into office. And I'm on the lookout for David. Now, where's David at? Well, David has ADHD. So he's not at his base, and he's not at my base. Hell, I don't even know if he even knew he was playing at the time. He probably forgot all about it, chasing a butterfly and shit. Now, David decides to walk to one of the busiest streets in the city and wave around what looks to be an automatic assault rifle in the air. Well, imagine David's surprise, but about four seconds later, paddy wagon. Like I said, don't play outside in a residential area. Guys, I've never seen this video before. I, I could tell that was gonna happen. Just don't play outside at a public area. Make sure you're playing on private property or an airsoft field with realistic looking airsoft guns. It's just stupid. Up in front of them. Bunch of cops pile out, you got their guns drawn on this completely oblivious exactly. attention deficit child. Now, I wasn't there. I was around the block waiting to shoot David in the teeth with my Kennedy killer. But I bet that turd in his pants was massive. Well, it didn't take him long it to should be, yeah. his gun wasn't real. Luckily he wasn't massacred on the street right there and then. They load his in the back of the wagon like the wild animal that he is and they pull up to the front of his house. Now, I was there for this part and I can say for sure that the turd in my pants was massive. One yep. cop gets out and he's like, Put that rifle down! So I threw it like the gun was on fire. Dave comes out of the back of the truck looking like a Dennis the Menace cartoon. <laughs> the hell do you think you kids are doing? Uh, we're just this playing. Is... Why's that kid wearing that puffy coat? It's 94 degrees outside. Dave's mom comes running out like they're filming an episode of Law and Order. I don't even need to say it again. Don't. Just. Just don't. Instead of getting a chance to meet Ice-T, she's got to deal with this. Now, the cops were really cool about this whole situation. They gave David's mom our arsenal of plastic weapons. They're all like- They're still plastic! He okay, he thought that the AEGs were good, but they're plastic, so they're still only gonna shoot like 200 FPS. I don't- okay. I mean, I'm glad that Airsoft is hitting the public mainstream now, especially with these animation YouTubers and the South Park episode and stuff, but still, you just- could have murdered your kid and got away with it, but, uh, well, we didn't, so you're welcome. Good job. Why don't you give him a wiffle ball bat or something to play with instead? So the moral of the story... This is, like, what a cop should do in the situation. Tell you that you're stupid and either do something else or play airsoft in a safe way. That's exactly how they should handle it. Good job. So in conclusion, the moral of the story is what I like to call rule number one of life. Don't be stupid.